Let's go. In a couple of days, we're gonna be leaving this apartment forever. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit sad. Anyways, we're moving for a good reason. It's because we bought a house and we're gonna be moving there and I'm gonna be documenting the entire process from moving to unpacking to decorating. And let's just say that decorating is not my strong suit. And so yes, you could subscribe either to laugh at me, which is fair, and hopefully be entertained by my uh, decorating failures, or help me a little, please. <laughs> I'll definitely need your help. Either way, I hope you'll follow this journey. But enough with my ramblings. We're gonna be saying goodbye to my office, and we're gonna do it in style. Cool, let's go. Okay, so we're heading into the office. This is what you see when you come in. The view is my favorite part. Okay, welcome in. Okay, let's go into the closet. Oh, we have a visitor. Hey, hold on, likes to hide in my closet. <laughs> But it looks like he decided to come out. Hi! How's it going? Good morning! Did you have a good night's sleep, Holden? I feel like sometimes because he hides in the closet, we'll find things with so much orange hair on them. Good morning! You woke up very happy, huh? I love his little stub tail. He was born this way. So... It's not that he got hurt or anything, it's just a manx. And they're very affectionate cats. I still can't believe that he was surrendered. At some point I'd be happy to tell the story if you want to hear more. So this is where I have all the clothes that I wear most often. And then, hold in, he would typically hide here. This is where I store all my camera gear. And that's where I have all my tripods. And this is where I have my ring light. At some point, I would love to have a space that's dedicated to filming, but right now everything is in this closet. And that concludes our closet tour. This is an awesome plant that I got from Bloomscape. I got a lot of my plants from there. And I have to say the plants from Bloomscape are the healthiest that I've been able to get during COVID. This one is a money tree. And then I got that little basket from Amazon. This is my little exercise station. I can't remember where I got this mirror, but I love it so much. And I'll try to find where I got this lamp as well, because I also love this lamp a lot. So going on this side, so this, is where my cats love to sleep. In there, there's actually a lot of different stickers and things like that. This is actually a fancy cat bed where my cats rarely go. It's kind of funny how they prefer the cardboard box. They don't really care for the fancy beds. At least that's what I found with my cats. Let me know if you found the same thing with your cats as well. This is also a plant from Bloomscape. It's a fig leaf and it's doing really well. This is actually where I have a lot of journaling supplies because I love to journal in the morning and sit on the act chair or maybe read and you know drink something and then sit on the act chair. So I just love this setup here. It's really convenient. This is where I got all my work done. First, we got this awesome chair that I got from Amazon. It's the same as Daniel's and we have the same exact covers just a little bit of a different style that is because i always forget everyone's birthday so i actually got this calendar where i write everyone's birthdays 
and hopefully I won't forget them. And then this is my work setup. Let me sit down here. Whoop. Okay, so this was actually gifted to me by my brother. Whoop. Hello. It's a little meshy. Hi. Oh no, much better, much better. So this is a really cute pen. And I actually use this all the time. It's such a fun pen. And then I got this llama from PB Teen and I love it so much. Beautiful llama. And this notebook is actually a notebook that I made and that's Holden. He often puts himself in this position whenever he wants attention. And yeah, I actually made this myself and you can get it on Amazon. So I'll link it in the description in case you want to check it out. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about this corner. This candle is from a brand called Light Plus Cycle. And I find that it's one of the very few candles that my cat tolerates because he has asthma. It's supposed to be made with clean ingredients and I really think it is. This I bought in LA. The quote is a religious quote and I'm not necessarily religious, although I am spiritual. But I love this quote, listen to the still small voice that we so often hear. And for me, that still small voice is my intuition. I tend to know deep down what the right course of action is or what I really want to do, but then sometimes I just don't listen to that voice. So this is a nice reminder to do that. This is a little plant from Amazon and then this is from Daniel. I love you so much. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to talk about is this notebook. I love this notebook so much because it has a lot of prompts that are really easy to answer. Like for example, what's today's focus? What's an affirmation for today? Having these prompts and then having just a couple of lines to answer them is so helpful because I find that if I have an empty page and no prompts, then I feel kind of overwhelmed or I feel like journaling will take too long and so I just don't do it at all. But with this type of notebook, I feel like I can always find the energy to journal. It only takes a few minutes. And then I'm so grateful to be able to look back on my old entries. There's some nuggets here, like for example, let me see if I can find some interesting ones. <laughs> what I'm grateful for? The cats are healthy. <laughs> I live in a place with a beautiful view. See, <laughs> it's so true. Holden just came to cuddle with me on the egg chair. These seem like very silly things, but it's nice to not take the things that you have for granted. Uh, so for example, this day I had spoken with my friend Julia and that was really nice. As I'm reading this, it's so interesting how much I referenced the beautiful view in this apartment. We really lucked out in getting this during COVID and it was pre-COVID times. So it was definitely a lot more affordable than it would normally be to live here. But yeah, it's kind of nice to see that I appreciated this apartment and really made the most of it. Then I have these affirmation cards. This one says, I have the power to uplift everyone around me, which I think is so beautiful. So sometimes I like to draw one of these cards and then I'll either, you know, of course I'll write it down in the journal, but sometimes I'll even keep it by my desk just to remember it throughout the day. Oh, I like this one. I am the woman of my dreams. I also really love this journal. Start where you are by Mira Lee Patel. Again, I feel like this journal is very easy to fill out because it's not overwhelming and there's so much color here. If you want to build a ship, don't drum up people to collect wood and don't assign them tasks and work, but rather teach them to long for the endless immensity of the sea. It's so true. It's exactly how I approach my work. I actually oversee about 250 volunteers that help make this work possible inside the company that I work at. People are excited about working for the programs that, that I run because I'm talking about this vision that we're all working towards and why that's important. And we're all excited about getting to that sea. And so I love this. I feel like a lot of the times people do end up accidentally just teaching people like, here's some wood and here's how you make the ship. 
but if people lose sight of why they're even trying to make a ship and if they don't have that longing for the same thing that you long for it's just not as powerful this is another little journal that i also like called present over perfect i picked this up when i first became a program manager and it was a new job for me and so every day i swear i would come home and i would just cry maybe not every day but like almost every day <laughs> i would come home and feel like oh no, I'm gonna get fired because I was used to being an excellent recruiter and being really good at the thing that I did. And then as a program manager, I just felt like a fish out of water. I didn't feel like I was organized or good at the things that program managers are supposed to be good at. And I had so much imposter syndrome. Um, I'd be happy to talk about these things more, you know, if, if it's helpful. But yeah, I feel like this book was a reminder that it's okay to not be perfect. And it's actually really important to not be perfect because sometimes you need to do something difficult that you're not good at because that's what you want to do. And eventually you will get better at it by continuing to struggle through the hard thing. And if you give up and if you're only looking for things that you're perfect in, then you will just never do anything new and your life will be so much smaller than it could have been. And then we have Alice in Wonderland, which was my favorite movie, my favorite Disney movie growing up. I've actually never read the book. I really want to read this. This is a beautiful edition of the book. Who's the publisher? Oh, wow. So crinkly. Of course, I have a book about drawing cats. So these are some journals and other things that I just want to gravitate towards more. So I feel like having them right by the egg chair inspires me to use them a little bit more. And that's the goal. Here I have the little egg chair. Um, what are these called? Mm, words. Controller? No, I don't think it's a controller. I don't know why today English is very hard for me. Oh, remote control. Oh no, he's so excited about the camera. <laughs> I think he, oh, you want to see how about the camera? Let's see if you can draw twirl. Nice, good boy. You twirl. Look, I need to give you a treat now. Good boy, what a good boy.